Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on modular arithmetic tables. In this video, we'll be looking at creating outcome tables based on addition, subtraction, and multiplication in a given modulo. So we'll take our first problem. Problem one. Construct addition table for modulo 5. In modulo 5, we are going to represent the set, which is the digits that can be found within modulo 5 to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the digits that can be found in modulo 5 in the simplest form. So creating the table, these are the numbers we are going to use to create the table. So we have uh, here, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and uh, 4. Then this is on the row, on this column, we have a uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and uh, 4. And the operation, which is addition, is placed here. Remember, in modular arithmetic, the arithmetic operation is within the circle. That is why this is addition, so we have it inside a circle. Then we add. So I will start from here. 0 plus 0 gives 0. 0 plus 1 gives 1. 0 plus 2 gives 2, 0 plus 3 gives 3, and 0 plus 4 gives 4. So we are done with the first row. We go to the second row. 1 plus 0 gives 1, 1 plus 1 gives 2, 1 plus 2 gives 3, 1 plus 3 gives 4, and 1 plus 4 gives 5. And remember, there is no 5 in the digits of modulo 5. What we do is we either divide 5 by 5, which goes 1, remainder 0, or we say 5 minus 5, which will still give us a 0. So we are done with that row. We go to the next row, that is the row of 2. 2 plus 0 gives 2. 2 plus 1 gives 3. 2 plus 2 gives 4. 2 plus 3 gives 5. And 5 minus 5 is 0. So we have the 0 here. 2 plus 4 gives 6. And 6 minus 5 gives 1. We subtract 5 because we are working with modulo 5. If it is modulo 6, we will subtract 6. If it is modulo 7, we subtract 7 or they are multiples. So we are done with that. Then we go to the next row, which is the row of 3. 3 plus 0 gives 3. 3 plus 1 gives 4. 3 plus 2 gives 5. 5 minus 5 gives 0. 3 plus 3 gives 6. And 6 minus 5 gives 1. 3 plus 4 gives 7. And 7 minus 5 gives 2. So we are done with that. We go to the last row. 4 minus 0 gives 4. 4 minus 1 gives 5, and 5 minus 5 gives 0, and 4 plus 2 gives 6, 6 minus 5 gives 1, 4 plus 3 gives 7, and 7 minus 5 gives 2, and finally, 4 plus 4 gives 8, 8 minus 5 gives 3. And for your information, if you are working with table in mathematics, showing the workings is 
not important. Just make sure that your entries into the table are correct. You can do it mentally or you can just find a place, work it out and transfer the result to the appropriate cell in the table. So that is that for all tables in mathematics. So we are done with this. We now move to problem two. For problem two, complete the table below for subtraction in modulo four. So we have been given the table and uh, with the elements. Remember in modulo four, the digits are zero, one, two, three. And uh, we are to take this column as first number and this row as second number. First number and second number means we pick the first number from this column and the next number from the row. So that is the meaning of first number and second number. So like here, we are starting with zero minus zero. Zero minus zero is zero. And here again, we still keep this zero minus one. So zero minus one is going to give us negative one. We cannot record the negative one here. We have to return it to positive. So to do that, we we'll just add the modulus. In this case, it is modulo 4. We add 4 and negative 1 plus 4 gives 3. So we enter 3 in this cell. Then we go to this 2, T holding 0 minus 2. So we have 0 minus 2. That's going to give us negative 2. Again, we add the 4 because we are working with modulo 4. So we add 4. Negative 2 plus 4 gives 2. So 2 goes into this cell. Then we go to the next number, which is 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Again, we add 4. Negative 3 plus 4 gives 1. Therefore, 0 minus 3 will give us 1 in modulo 4. And that is all for row 1. That is the row of 0. We go to the next row. Again, we pick 1 first and then minus 0. So, you know, 1 minus 0 is 1. So, there's no special manipulation there. So, we just record the 1. Then we go to the next number, which is 1 minus 1, and that one is 0. We record the 0, no further manipulation. Then again, 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 will give us negative 1. And we said negative value is not acceptable within this table here. So we convert it to positive by adding 4 because we are working in modulo 4. So negative 1 plus 4 gives 3 and we record the 3 in this cell. Then we go to the last number in that row which is 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 gives negative 2 then we now add 4. Negative 2 plus 4 gives 2. So we have the 2 recorded in the cell. So again, we are done with that row. Then we now go to the next row, which is the row of 2. Again, we are picking our first number, which is 2 here. So we have 2 minus 0 gives 2. And the next number, 2 minus 1 gives 1. Then the next number, 2 minus 2, which gives 0. And uh, finally, in that row, we go to 3. 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 
then we express it as positive by adding 4. Negative 1 plus 4 gives 3. Therefore, 2 minus 3 gives 3. And then we are done with that row. We go to the last row. So in this row, we are picking our first number to be 3 minus 0. 3 minus 0 gives 3. Then the next number, which is 1, 3 minus 1 gives 2. The next number, 3 minus 2 gives 1. And finally, 3 minus 3 gives 0. And we record the 0 there. So we are done with the last row. And we have completed the table given to us for problem 2 in Modulo 4. From here, we go to problem 3. Problem 3, construct multiplication table for Modulo 6. Again, we are going to bring out the digits in Modulo 6, which are the digits we are going to work with. So we have uh, the digits to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We said you cannot have 6 and above in modulo 6. You simplify it to the simplest form to give you either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. That is where we are going to base our construction of the table on. So here again we have the table. We bring in to these cells the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here we have it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the operation is multiplication. We place it here. So we are starting from the first row here. And that is the row of 0. And 0 times 0 gives 0. 0 times 1 gives 0. 0 times 2 gives 0. 0 times 3 gives 0. 0 times 4 gives 0. And 0 times 5 gives 0. So we are done with the first row, which is the row of 0. We go to the next row, that is the row of 1. Then 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 gives 1. 1 times 2 gives 2. 1 times 3 gives 3. 1 times 4 gives 4. 1 times 5 gives 5. So we are done with that again. We go to the next row, which is the row of 2. 2 times 0 gives 0. 2 times 1 gives 2. 2 times 2 gives 4. And 2 times 3 gives 6. And we said we cannot have 6 as a final answer in modulo 6. So we convert it to the simplest form. 6 in modulo 6 is 0. It is either you divide 6 by 6 and take the remainder, which is 0, or you say 6 minus 6, which is 0. Whichever way, either the remainder method or the subtraction method, you still get the same result. Now, 2 times 4 gives 8. So, 8 in the simplest form in modulo 6 will be 8 minus 6, which will give us 2. Remember, 8 divided by 6 gives 1 remainder 2, and we are still interested in the remainder. So, we have it as 2. Then, 2 times 5 gives 10, and 10 minus 6 gives 4. And we are done with that uh, row. We go to the next row, which is the row of 3. 3 times 0 gives 0. 3 times 1 gives 3. 3 times 2 again gives 6. 
So 6 minus 6 is 0. And uh, 3 times 3 gives 9. 9 minus 6 gives 3. 3 times 4 gives 12. Now, 12 is a multiple of 6. So, it is either you subtract the 6 or subtract the multiple of 6. And that will give us 12 minus 12, which gives 0. So, since 3 times 4 gives 12, and 12 is a multiple of 6, therefore 12 minus 12 gives 0, and we record the 0 there. 3 times 5 gives 15. We cannot write 15 here. The simplest form of 15 in modulo 6 is to subtract the multiple of 6 from 15, which is 12. So 15 minus 12 gives 3. Therefore, 3 times 5 gives 3. And that is all for the row of 3. We go to the next row, which is the row of 4. 4 times 0 gives 0. 4 times 1 gives 4. 4 times 2 gives 8. And 8 minus 6 gives 2. 4 times 3 gives 12. 12 minus 12 gives 0. 4 times 4 gives 16. 16 minus 12. So, and we record the 4. 4 times 5 gives 20. 20 minus 18. Since 18 is a multiple of 6, that will give us 2. We record the 2. So we are done with that row. We go to the last row, which is the row of 5. So 5 times 0 gives 0. 5 times 1 gives 5. 5 times 2 gives 10. 10 minus 6 gives 4. 5 times 3 gives 15. 15 minus 12 gives 3. 5 times 4 gives 20. 20 minus 18 gives 2. And 5 times 5 gives 25. 25 minus 24. Because 24 is a multiple of 6. And that gives 1. And we are done constructing multiplication table for modulo 6. And that is the end of solution to problem 3. This is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos in modular arithmetic. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.